last night and I said, hey, is that Godzilla versus King Kong good? I don't really care about either one, but <laughs> the commercials kind of have me. Yeah, it looks good. Well, it does look pretty good, and I have HBO Max, so I can watch it for free. And so I texted him. I said, hey, Caitlin and I were looking for something to watch. And I said, will Caitlin like it? He goes, no. But I might. You would like it, yes. I would like it. Yeah. Even though I don't care about Godzilla. I really didn't care about him before they were in a movie together. I watched it and I loved it. So what do you give it? I give it 3.9 out of 5 burning buildings. It's good enough to where I was entertained the entire time, but just not quite a 4. 3.9? Has that ever been given here? I don't no. think so. It's just, I couldn't give it a 4. Why? It was a little bit cheesy, but... In regards to this movie, it works. Do those huge creatures, like, fight over a city? Is that what it is? Yeah, they fight over a city. It's amazing. It's basically two monsters wrestling the entire movie, so I loved it. <laughs> For, like, two hours. Is there a good guy? Uh, sort of. Not really? You'll find, you find out. You watch it. You don't want to tell me? No. Because it spoils the movie? I think so. I'm uncomfortable watching when two good guys fight against each other. Oh. Whenever they had Iron Man and Captain America fight, I couldn't bring myself to watch that Marvel movie. <laughs> Because I don't want to watch two people I rooted for fighting against each other, right? Yeah. But you liked that one. Yeah, I did like that one. Who did you root for? I rooted for Captain America. Over Iron Man? Yeah. How could you do that? Interesting. Iron Man's where it all started. I just thought in that situation, Captain America was in the right. Raymundo, what'd you watch? I watched The Serpent on Netflix. It's one season, eight episodes, about 50 minutes each. It's based on a true story. Oh, it's not a movie. No, it's a show. What, they, is, what is it? So it's based in Thailand. It's another language, so you're going to have some subtitles. Sometimes they do English, which is nice, but you forget about it, so it's easy to follow. But this guy it's, preys on tourists, and he puts stuff in their drinks, robs them, steals their diamonds, tries to sell diamonds. If you don't want his diamonds, he comes after you. And the guy went around forever, decades, overseas, Thailand, Asia, Finally got him, and he's in jail. That is the good news. That's Wait, not it's, a true, it's a true story. Yeah, not a spoiler. Do you know this? No, I haven't seen it yet. It's called The Serpent? Yep. Well, I, have, I struggle, though, when they go, hey, watch this show and read subtitles the whole time. That being said, we can't hear. Our living room is kind of weird. Sometimes we can't hear. And so uh, we put the subtitles on. We watch Last Chance of You. <laughs> I'm all okay yeah, with subtitles when it's it. English. But I, I struggle. Whenever we watch that movie, um, the one you said was the best movie Parasite. ever. Parasite. Yeah. Uh, about five minutes into it, I was fine with the subtitles. Exactly. After a while, you do get used to Why it. Why am I a subtitle hater? I don't know, man. You got to stop that. What do you give it, Ray? I give it five diamonds out of five. Wow, that good. My warning is if you watch the first episode, you're going to sit there and binge for eight hours. So just be careful. It's really good. The Serpent on Netflix. Sounds good. What have you guys watched? Anything lately? Okay, so we talked about Nomadland, and I told you I was going to eventually watch it. I eventually watched it. And it's good, guys. It's really good, but I will warn you, it's sad as crap. Like, it's really sad. It's just basically about this group of people, and they focus on one person, but this group of people that just aren't uh, happy with the way the world works, so they want to just kind of move from place to place in either RV or a van or whatever, and they have these big... You know, areas that they get together and learn from each other on how to live off the land. And it's called Nomad Land. But at the end, you realize the root of why they want to escape. And that's where it gets pretty sad. You watched it, Mike? Yeah. Did you like it? It's pretty good. It'll make you want to sell all your things and go on a road trip. Is it Best Picture? Nominated, yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, I knew it was part of the Oscars. I didn't know what award it was up for. But What'd you watch that on? It's on Hulu. Hulu? Hulu. What will I like more? Kong and Godzilla? <laughs> Or Nomadland. Oh, no, no, Kong. Kong, yeah. Kong, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. You like sad sometimes, and this de definitely has like a sad feeling around the whole thing. Lunchbox, you watch anything? Uh, yeah, I watched Mean Girls for the first time because my wife had always talked about it, and you guys always quote it, and I'd never seen it, so we were sitting around, and my wife's like, let's watch it. And we watched it. That's all right. I think it's a little overhyped. Maybe it's more about the time it was in than now. Like, for example, people will go, I just watched Friends for the first time, overhyped. Yeah, because it's not 1999 right now. Like, at the time, Friends was great, and if you had some sort of connection to it, even now, it's probably good, if you were connected to it then. But if you just watch it for the first time now, you're going, it's fine. Yeah. So it's like that with a lot of things. Yeah. That came out a while back. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. However, Eddie's kids love the Fresh yeah, Prince they, of Bel-Air. He loves it. He loves Fresh Prince. And now he's watching Wonder Years, and he loves that, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, he, he loves the Wonder Years. And I love the Wonder I'm going back and watching the Wonder Years episodes, and they're like, so many good life lessons in there, like lessons that I don't even have to have with my kid anymore because he's learning from the Wonder Years. You just go, you're caught up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, son, that's love. Watch this episode. Hey, Ray, I saw they weren't bringing that main guy back for Bridgerton season two. Are you, 
Are you upset? <laughs> no, we did a spin the wheel or whatever, a drawing. I'm not watching season two. But you watch season one. I'm saying, are you? He up- is the most uh, draw worthy character, I would say, out of all of them. He, it's ver- it's a pretty attractive guy. He's a, kind of a BA. Rides around on a horse. All the chicks want him. He's a good dancer. BA is bad, bad. Yeah, Ray's like, oh, I don't know. And then he lists nine things about him. <laughs> I'm saying he was probably the best character. All the other ones were just weird guys that were awkward around chicks. So obviously all the girls are going to want the suave guy, which was him. You're the only one that watched Bridgerton here? I watched Bridgerton. Morgan, you watched episodes. it? Yeah, you, I watched are it. Are you sad the guy's not coming back? Yeah, he's the main character. And it doesn't really make sense that he's not coming back. I know they're changing the storyline. But he was the main reason that people decided to watch it. Like, it was because of him. Is he doing, like, Marvel stuff, Mike? Do you know? I think he's in an upcoming movie, yeah. yeah. I guess he got big jobs now. We shouldn't worry about him. Uh, okay, that's it. Movie Mike's movie podcast is out. One of the topics this week is if you can only watch one movie the rest of your life, what would it be? That's tough. This is on Movie Mike's movie podcast. One movie, what do you watch? That's tough, but I like Forrest Gump. Over and over and over because it just covers so many different things. And it's extremely long. Yes, I'll take it. Ray? Wedding Crashers. You're going to laugh the whole time. It's one of those you can uh, always get a new pickup line if you watch it that you missed out on the first time. Lunchbox? I had old school just because you want to laugh. You want to be in your living room laughing every time, and every time you watch it, it's still funny. Morgan? Sweet Home Alabama. It's a perfect rom-com, and you can watch it on repeat and not really think about it. What's yours, Bones? Man on the Moon. Oh, Good one. Just love the movie and love the documentary on Netflix. That doesn't count, but they did a documentary about the movie with Jim Carrey, too. <laughs> so annoying. It's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.